welcome to the part two of the block tracking tutorial and as you can see i have upgraded this and now we have connecting lines and also these random math equations which are being generated so i will show you how we can do that and by the way if you haven't watched watched the part one i'll highly recommend you to watch that because in this one, I'm only going to explain what we have changed in the code. We are not going to make this from scratch. So I will just start it now. So we have on line 9, we have a display mode which says equations. And that's why we have these random equations over here. And you can change it to any of these votes, number, time, colors, whatever you want. I will make it votes right now and you can see it's generating random votes now so you can use whatever you want this is basically the random function of generating those votes or like numbers so let's get down and we will go to yeah on 133 line 133 we have these connecting lines and i've already told or showed you how to like change color of these and you basically change the rgb values this is r this is g and this is b so if i make it zero it will change let's uh, Okay, let's keep this and make this zero as well. It will change into blue, I guess. Yeah, it does change into blue color. And similarly, here uh, on 130, you can change the text color as well. So let me show you that as well. Right now, it's black, zero, zero, zero. That represents black. And if I change this one to 255, it should change it to green. And yeah, it does change it to green. So yeah, there it is how you can change the like color of the text. I'll just keep it zero so it's like black and more visible. visible. So you can see that it is working like pretty fine, I guess. It's not very accurate, but still. Uh, and by the way if you want to know how to like find these rgb values you can either just google it or you can also go on my github and there is this rgb to hex calculator and you'll find the link here this is basically uh our rgb to hex calculator don't worry about all that you can basically like uh play around with these values and find out which color you want and then put these rgb values in your code and obviously i will give you the code of blob tracking tutorial uh it is right in here i've already uploaded it so this blob py is the first one which was the previous one and this is dot i mean second one so yeah just go in here and copy the code and you are good to go so i think this is pretty much it for this video i doesn't have i don't have much to explain in here because you know i already explained everything in the first part this is just an updation of that and also like this is the final part of like the block tracking module because i don't think i can update it any more further so yeah thanks for watching the video and yeah i will take my leave now